Hey Space Lab, I'm Jake, and while I was watching Dragon Dock with the ISS, my friend asked me an interesting question. What time is it on the International Space Station? Now before I answer that question, I made a playlist for you about time and space. You can start it at any point by clicking the annotation, or if you're on a mobile device, you can click the link at the top of the description. But back to the question. The ISS goes off of Greenwich Mean Time, because that time zone was a good choice for both the Russian headquarters and NASA's headquarters. Here's where it gets interesting. How do we classify a day? Now we know a day is comprised of, on average, 86,400 seconds, or 24 hours. And we got to that conclusion by the cycle it takes for the sun to reach the highest point in the sky, or local noon. Now the ISS orbits the Earth 16 times in one Earth day. That means it makes a complete orbit every 90 minutes, and of that 90 minutes, 55 are in sunlight, and the other 35 are in darkness. So if a day is determined by the sun rising and setting, does that mean that theoretically there are 16 days on the ISS for one Earth day? And even more interesting, does a lack of gravity affect time differently in space? And what if I went to Mars? What time would it be there? If you want to find out more, click the annotation or the link at the top of the description to start the playlist. Oh, and also an interesting fact. The ISS orbits the Earth at a speed of 17,239 miles per hour, which relative to the Earth is pretty fast. And because of that, astronauts that come back from the ISS actually arrive younger than if they had spent the time on Earth. It's only about 0.007 seconds younger, but still, that's pretty cool. And to find out more cool stuff, start the playlist, because I have literally nothing else to say right now. Do it. Start it.